don't know what they're going to do, but I don't see any reason why we can't go get our animals. It's not that dangerous yet. The freaking fire's over here. My, my ex-boyfriend's girlfriend just called me crying. She can't find her dad. Call me. I, I thought they would let me through because no, of my... Let you through. She's, they said they'll get her evacuated. Emotions in Sedona are almost as heated as the fire itself. Many residents are frustrated they can't get to their homes to gather belongings and check on pets. However, many people voluntarily evacuated before the mandatory alarm sounded. I'm very happy that we were lucky enough to have plenty of time to evacuate. We were able to get all the things that we thought were important to take with us. And um, obviously, I hope that the wind's not going to switch and that it comes down toward the houses and the neighborhoods around us. For now, residents will have to wait and wonder if their homes will survive the fire. Well, I wouldn't care if my house burnt down, but I don't want my dogs to die. Today, the battle is mainly in the air. The terrain is too treacherous for ground crews. Well, usually when it's active early, it'll be active later in the day as the as temperature increases, relative humidities drop, and uh, winds pick up because we are supposed to have potentially strong winds today, gusts to, to 25 to 30 miles an hour that we didn't have yesterday.